All right, guys, so you know we got to talk about it. We have to talk about what just happened with Kyle Rittenhouse. Now, if you have social media, you obviously know he's not guilty. And you can obviously see the world is divided on this. Now, in my personal opinion, if you go by the law, he is not guilty. He's just very stupid. Why would you put yourself in that situation? Why would you bring a gun out there? Why would you do a lot of stuff? But that doesn't even matter. The court has spoken and so be it. But the bigger issue is that they're headlining this story as way more important trials are going on. And you're probably like, what is more important than this? There's nothing more important than a white guy shooting people and white supremacists when he's a kid. He was just stupid. I mean, who knows what he truly believes because we don't know him. But if you just look at what happened, he's just stupid, plain and simple. Now, I do agree it probably would have been approached different if this guy was black, but different start. I think he should have got charged with at least something, even just like a slap on the wrist, not just, hey, just walk home, fine. But again, it's like, I get it because that state, you can legally carry a firearm. And they're like, oh, he came from a different state. Out in this. It wasn't that far. Not making excuses for the guy. I'm just saying the way the law is written, it makes sense why he's not guilty. But this video is not about him. I don't want you to think this video is about him. I don't want you to think I'm Republican, Democrat, whatever it is. I think both parties are absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid. I think they're made to divide us because 99% is bigger than 1%, but 99% is not bigger than 1% if the 99% are fighting each other because they're divided on the way they view the world. So anyways, I said there was bigger trials and bigger issues to look at than this little kid that is stupid. And I know people are going to be like, oh, he wasn't stupid. He was standing over there. So he, wasn't. he was stupid. You obviously should think about the decisions you're making and think about the outcomes. He didn't think about any of that. I don't know. I, that's just my that's just my assumption. And I am just a YouTuber, so you could lick a bottom of a shoe if you don't like that, okay? Being nice about that. But the bigger issue here is Ahmaud Aubrey's trial. And if you guys don't remember who this guy is, he was in that one viral video of Ahmaud Aubrey, a black guy, running while jogging through a neighborhood, and two older white guys in a truck followed him and shot him. And he's on trial right now. But nobody cares. Nobody seems to care. That's clearly racism right there. That is clearly the problem. But they rather target the white guy that killed other people. And they're calling him racist, but he didn't just kill black people. But the real problem is this right here. And there's another case too that is an even bigger problem, but this is a big problem. We live in 2021. We should not be looking at people for the color of their skin. I mean, really think about what we learned in uh, high school, junior high, elementary, whatever it is, wherever you learned it. To find the, the root of something, you have to break it down to the most natural form, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. What do they all have in common? They all started with twos. What do we all have in common? We're all human beings. Actually, I mean, if you really want to get crazy, we're all beings. That's it. Because extraterrestrial beings are beings. And human beings are being sure we have different pigment in their skin, what do up, whatever, that's fine. But that's so ignorant to judge somebody off the skin. And I know we all judge as human beings, but I'd rather have someone judge somebody off their actions and how they handle a situation than the color of their skin, right? It's very, very dumb. And you know, it's sad because that's how America was founded and people kind of neglect to see that America was founded off of stealing, slaughtering, enslaving, building, controlling. Debate me. Drop a comment if you think differently. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But this Ahmad Aubrey trial is a lot more serious than the Rittenhouse trial. In my opinion, the Rittenhouse trial is a dumb kid that made a mistake. But the Ahmad Aubrey, that's a real issue. This guy was just running and people were so racist that they followed him and shot him. And there's video of it. But this is not making the mainstream media. Why? Because they understand which one gets you into that fear mindset. Another big one that doesn't sit right with me and I don't, it just blows my mind that the media will not cover it is the Maxwell case. And if you don't know who dad is, well, that's Jeffrey Epstein's right hand man. Oh, well, woman. And if you don't know who Jeffrey Epstein is, he was, I would consider saying, running a cult of child sex trafficking to the most elite people from princes to presidents to multi-billionaires to the most powerful figures in the world. And it makes sense because it's like, how do you control people to have the most money in the world? Blackmail. Why do you think I left the music industry? Because that's how they get down. Whatever. Fine. That's a whole different video. I don't want to get distracted. But why are the two bigger cases not in the media? It's because they don't want you to know. Because Jeffrey Epstein probably compromised the person that owns the news. Or maybe one of our presidents. Or a mayor. Or a governor. Or a multi-billionaire. And Lord knows if that gets out, you know what that's going to do to America. Granted, she's made it a lot farther than I ever thought she was. I thought she was going to die of...
in jail or something like that. But we'll see where that goes. It just amazes me, though, that mainstream media in America chooses to cover the most ignorant topics and actually refuses to actually confront the real problem. Yes, I get it. The kid was stupid, made a dumb mistake, probably should have got a little bit of trouble with you up, whatever. But what happened with Ahmad Aubrey? That's pure racism. What happened with Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein? That is absolutely sickening, but nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to address the real issue. They just want to make you really pissed off. With that being said, I just want you guys to think about it, look into it, question more of what's going on because they're only telling you things that make you mad, things that get you very, very frustrated because all we run off of love and fear and fear is how you make money because fear is how you're going to evoke somebody to do something. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this type of content. If you did, I would appreciate it if you dropped a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you got to do to stay in the loop. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think I'm nuts? Do you think they're nuts? Do you think America's playing with us? Whatever it is, I support it all. I just want to have an open conversation with you guys. My name is Derek with Flippin' Drip, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.